Here in America, we love our badasses, and if you need proof of that, watch any John Wayne movie. Well, movies are a work of fiction, the truth is, we have more than enough American badasses in our history, most of whom you've probably never heard about. Take Hugh Glass, for example. This American badass made a living back in the early days as a fur trader, hunter, and explorer. As part of an expedition in South Dakota, Hugh Glass went hunting one day and ran across a mother grizzly with two cubs. Mama Bear, <laughs> Mama Bear responded to the intrusion by ripping Hugh Glass to shreds, literally. When members of his hunting party found him, they managed to kill the bear and were astonished that Glass was still alive. Convinced he had not long to live in this life, they put him in a stretcher and carried him along with the expedition, expecting him to die sooner than later. Thing is, old Hugh Glass refused to die and ended up doing nothing but slowing the expedition down to a snail's pace, so they all just kind of left him behind with two people to bury him. Two people named Bridges and Fitzgerald. When Bridges and Fitzgerald returned to the expedition, they claimed that Hugh Glass had finally died. That, my friends, turned out to be a lie. When Glass regained consciousness, his back was splayed open, exposing his ribs, along with a broken leg and festering wounds all over his body. Abandoned 200 miles from the nearest fort, Hugh Glass crawled to a river, fashioned some kind of raft, and floated down the river to Fort Kiowa, a journey that took six weeks. Badass as Hugh Glass was, he, of course, tracked down both men that left him to die, and in an act of real badassery, he forgave both men. Of course, Hugh Glass was able to live the life of an American frontiersman only because we prevailed over the English during the Revolutionary War. While all Americans know about George crossing the Delaware, Concord, and the surrender at Yorktown, you probably have never heard of Anna Strong and the legend of Agent 355. Fact is, most don't know that old George Washington had a spy ring working for him. A spy ring that had a mysterious spy named Agent 355. And that's all that is known, even today, is that this spy was a woman. It is thought that the mysterious Agent 355 played an important role in exposing Benedict Arnold, who in turn identified her to the British, who they then arrested and later claimed died giving birth to a son while on a British prison ship. Problem is, we just don't know what happened to her. Her life and legend is lost to history. But what we do know is that she was a badass American hero. And so is Anna Strong, a member of the same spy ring whose exploits are actually documented. Many believe that Anna Strong was the elusive Agent 355, but we'll never know for sure. Now, none of this is unusual when it comes to spies, spy rings, secret agent stuff, and black ops, because that's the way it's supposed to be. You just keep everything secret even if you're a real American badass. Talking of secrets, history has kept the name of Robert Smalls a pretty good secret. Born a slave, married to a slave, Robert Smalls worried for his family during the Civil War. Worried that his son, daughter, and wife could all be sold off to different slave owners, Robert Smalls devised a plan to steal a vessel that was berthed in Charleston Harbor and deliver it to the Union Navy that was blockading the Southern Harbor with himself, some friends, and his wife and children aboard. The story of how he did so is a tale of luck, daring, and straight-up badassery, and I'm wondering why we haven't seen this legendary tale of gut and glory on the big screen. Last, in no way the least of American badasses you've never heard about, is Freddie Mayer, a man that I happen to have a personal connection to, a man the movie Inglorious Bastards has a lot in common with. A German Jew who fled Germany in 1938, he returned seven years later as a spy for the OSS. Posing as a German officer in Austria, 
Freddie Mayer relayed German troop movements back to his commanders until he was captured, where his torture included waterboarding and being pistol whipped. In an interesting turn of events, those same Nazis ended up surrendering to this German Jew. How that happened? Well, that's a story you should go read about because Freddie Mayer was such an American badass, no one knew about his story. Not even my dad, who was a friend. And yes, I have memories of Mr. Mayer. One especially of him restoring an old car and letting me, as a young kid, help. One just never knows the stories that make up a person's life. Not even people you think you know. Yeah, I did this, and I'm guessing that you think you're a badass. You probably ain't. But, you know, most Americans like to think they're badasses, so... I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, I like doing these videos. I, I do. This Again, this was another fun one to, to do. Uh, how do you whittle it down? I mean, there's so, so many vibrant personalities in, in our own American history that, that you could... There's hundreds, if not thousands of people in our history in the founding of America you know in the last 250 75 years however many years it's been that you could you could tag as badasses uh but my all-time fa favorite of course is Freddie Mayer uh I I you know I really do have fond memories of 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 I was living overseas at the time and he just lived kitty corner from us was, and I'd run over there, and, man, I'd spend an afternoon just helping him build. I think it was like an old, uh, I want to say Volkswagen, but it wasn't, uh, underneath his house. So I got cold or something. I, I had something coming on, so I, I don't know. But you know what? Yeah. You never know about people. You, you just don't. But I'll leave it at that. I know one person that's not a badass. Somebody that can't even get a shot of tequila down. <laughs> Peace out. I love you guys. You all have a good day. Came to be near Christmas time. Enjoy the season, my friends. Please. We'll see you. Peace out.